Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is video nine today in regards to uh, trade deadline videos I have made. And Sammy Vatsanin has been traded from the New Jersey Devils in return uh, to the Her um, Carolina Hurricanes in return for uh, Frederick Clayson, who is a seventh defenseman, you know, AHL defenseman for the most part. Um, prospect left winger um, Jan Wawakunen. I'm probably pronouncing that terribly, and I apologize for that. And a conditional 2020 fourth round pick that becomes a third round pick depending on the amount of games that Sammy Vatanen plays for Carolina. So once I find out the actual details as to the amount of games, I'll put that in the comments below. But this was another massive trade that Carolina made. Um, with obviously gained Brady Shea already and Vincent Trocheck. They add uh, a guy like Sammy Vatanen who's going to be huge for them on special teams and five on five. You know, and while he has been out with injury. You know, a healthy Vatanen is a very good one. Now, like I said, it's just been the matter of injuries when it comes to him. And I feel that was in direct effect with the the return that the Devils were getting. If Vatanen was healthy all season, I definitely would have expected a bigger return for a guy like him. But because of that, it makes it makes sense why this kind of return happened. But Carolina gets Vatanen and in four, 47 games played this year, the 28-year-old defenseman has eight Five goals, 18 assists for 23 points, and has a plus minus of minus 12, and only had 17 points last year in 50 games. So since he became a member of the Devils, he didn't play any more than 57 games and has never played a full NHL season in his entire career. The most games Vatanen has played in the NHL was, um, I think, back-to-back -back seasons with the Anaheim Ducks, 71 games uh, apiece. So... He's been injury prone his whole career, we all know that, but like I said, when he is healthy, he is a dynamic puck moving defenseman that can contribute offensively for sure. And he has a capital of 4.875 mil, but he is a UFA at the end of the season, so there is a very solid chance that he will just be strictly rental and not be with the team after the season, but we'll see what happens. And um, the return, you, Clayson, I'm not really going to talk much about him. Um, He's just a really seventh defenseman, you know, AHL type guy. And but the guy I will talk about is um the uh, young prospect um Kwakinen, however you want to pronounce that, um because he was the second um he was forty third overall picked in the second round in twenty sixteen, and he, he's he has a chance to be something actually pretty significant for the Devils, given the fact that they are in a rebuild. Um, in the in the AHL this year, uh, for the Charlotte che Charlotte Checkers. In 52 games played, he has 12 goals, 30 assists for 42 points. So really solid. And he did have a cup of coffee with um, Carolina this year, I believe, playing seven or eight games, but nothing really to show for it. And um, the 21-year-old winner, you know, he does have some upside, that is for sure. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with um, the Devils if he gets any games in with them this season. And will he be a significant part of their future? So that is yet to be seen, but overall I thought that was a very... Nice add um, in this in this deal for Vatanen. Overall, I feel that the Devils could have gotten more, but given the injuries, it makes sense why this was a kind of return. So, if you're a fan of either team, the Devils or Carolina, let me know what you think. Do you, are you happy? Not happy? Feeling iffy about the trade? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't checked out previous videos regarding today or previous videos in general, please do. I do NHL content, just all things NHL related, videos wise. That I just feel that. I should make a video of. So like I said, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, all those great things. I really appreciate it. And I have a couple more videos I have to make for the for today with other trades that I feel are video worthy. So thank you all so much for watching and I will be back soon.